hey family how are you oh so today's video is going to display how i keep my kids busy um i'm not a busy body i'm being honest with you guys i'm more of a house person i really am a house a house person i hate out like nah i don't think y'all understand how much i hate outside like look at this this is my local supermarket my discount store everything is right there by my house i don't go i order everything off amazon if i need it right now amazon fresh like i don't know if it's the community i live in that number one is hella dangerous this crackhead better not it's hella dangerous to be outside and i i, I hate it here like i hate it here and i don't want to be outside like and that's just it so i order everything offline i do everything offline and i don't get out but i start to feel bad because i do have kids and although my children get outside because i allow them to go with their second parties and i allow them to go outside with their friends like to go to their friend's house for a little while and play so it ain't like they're not doing nothing but it makes me feel like a shitty parent while i don't do something with them and I will make the house fun, honey. I will turn the house into an adventure park if you let me do it. But Kaisha's a more outdoor person. So she's like, son, let's get out the house. So there's a few things I want to let you guys know. First things first, let me just get this out the way. Because this is, this is finally the plan. Finally the plan. So I am moving I will tell you the date I'm moving and where I am moving. Oh, I can't believe this weight, y'all. I got to turn these real show wipes on because I'm getting hot. I've been in New York City my whole life. I don't think nobody understands. You don't understand what I'm going through. Like, I've been here in Brooklyn my whole entire life. Like, I'm not that person. I have friends that has moved 50 times with their kids. They get up and move and get up and go and get up. That has never been me. It's I am not that person to take a leap of faith. That has never been me. Like, I'm scary and I will be content with what I know. But I'm going to do this. And I, I don't know if I'm being a fool. But y'all have told me for years, sis, just take the leap of faith. So I'm going to do it. I am moving in December. I am moving to North Carolina. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, I feel like my kids deserve a better life. I feel like North Carolina is affordable and it's a good place to upbring your children. Um, I've done so much research about North Carolina. Um, I want to tell you a part of North Carolina, but I feel like maybe I'm giving out too much information too soon. Cause you know, girl, sometimes I need to learn to shut up because as soon as I put things out there, that's when bad shit start happening. So December in North Carolina is where I will be. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm nerve guided. I'm nervous and excited. I have from now into December to save up the amount of money that I need. So y'all gonna see me looking like a crackhead all the time. All the time. But I'm gonna do this and I'm nervous but I'm excited. Um, I think a lot of you guys made me feel comfortable. I have zero family members in North Carolina. Bitch, I don't know nobody in the North or Cara or the Linus. Like, nobody. Kaisha has family out there but... That's her family. I don't even know them. Like, um, I feel like, I don't know. Like, I hope I'm making the right decision. And I know that making new friends is amazing. Like, I'm pretty sure there's some great ass people in North Carolina that I'm going to be able to make mommy friends with. And I'm hoping that this is my kid's first time ever seeing anything different. I'm, I'm hoping for the grass and, and the scenery and the great schools and the great atmosphere and the great people and it's it's a lifestyle change and it's a, a big change for me if anybody know me y'all know i've been moving forever in the day never making no way yet because i'm scary so this is this is big this is huge 
but I'm looking forward to it. Oh, family, I can't talk about it no more because next thing you know, I'm going to change my mind. Okay, there you go. You got it. But this video, y'all just going to see me keeping the kids busy, keeping myself busy. The kids are back from their spring break. They're with me, and I just want to take them outside a little bit, you know, so they don't think mommy always in the house. So let's go take them out. Let's go see the cast about. Let's go have fun. We're going to start with the backyard. I'm taking them outside to the backyard first. Let's go do that. I'm getting the babies outside. I got them in our backyard until my Uber guy. So this is my little parent hack. We come here at least maybe two, three times a month because sometimes when we pick the kids up after school, remember me and Kaisha don't get together so they get so hyped to see each other. It get kind of overwhelming in our small apartment. So we're bringing them here just to play and the good thing is that on the weekdays look it's empty and the price used to be $20 for the whole day but they changed it so now it's $15 for 90 minutes and still you can't beat that because it's super kid friendly your kid is definitely not getting hurt in here it's a great place honestly and it's mad big I think I showed y'all this before but it's called Joyful Palace it's in Queens on Myrtle Avenue so they got like the little Lego thing over here and they have the um the jumping area but it's huge in here and we hear so much see they have like the little jumping area and they have over here you could do parties over there and it's mad big and it's the floor is all mush and you can't come in without your sneakers off like it's a nice dope spot for the price and this is how i'm about to get some work done because while they play me and kaisha are gonna sit here and get to chill and talk and chat and i get to do some work she gets to do some work so it's beneficial look at them they love it here you would think they would get tired of it because we come here so much no oh really that's my sexy baby that's the one that's making money oh this is also the lockers this is the dining area and then back here is like some little games to play huh? they don't sell food here so bring your own you can eat so much ooh, 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 ooh. and their bathrooms are huge and clean <laughs> Don't throw them. Don't throw them out. Good. Okay, on Lazy Mom Edition. The kid is crying in the back. And I order off Amazon a lot. And I've seen Amazon has like these. I usually get the Amazon brand. But they have like these Amazon kitchen like ready meals. So this is supposed to be beef and broccoli stir fry. Um, I see that it has the beef, the rice. The sauce, the broccoli, the onion, more broccoli. Honestly, it looks pretty fresh. So I'm super excited about this. It says it cooks in 10 minutes. It gives you the instructions. You're supposed to cook, microwave, add sauce, enjoy. So you add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. You add the beef broccoli, cook two minutes. Meanwhile, pierce rice bag, then microwave for two minutes. Stir in the onions and the garlic puree. Cook 30 minutes, add half a cup of water and sauce. Cook two and a half minutes. Okay, let's see what this is hitting for. So, of course, I'm going to put some oil in a pot. And I didn't measure it because I'm black. We don't measure nothing. We eyeball everything. And I'm going to cook up the beef. It said just cook it up, but I'm going to season it because not seasoning meat just don't say right with me. And I'm black, so I'm going to season the meat. <laughs> Yeah. 
after you season the meat up and cook it, it says to add the broccoli and to mix it around and let it cook even longer. Um, it says that you're supposed to cook it for 10 minutes. All in all, it took me probably like 13 minutes to cook it because I like my meat well done. So yeah, I cooked it and then it says to pun puncture the rice and to put it in the microwave for two minutes. I'm not going to hold y'all that rice came out bomb. This is onion and garlic puree. And it says to mix that into it and to let that simmer and cook for two more minutes. And it smells good. It actually smells like Chinese food. Like it smells really, really good. Then it says to add the sauce and add a half a cup of water. I actually measured water because you can't eyeball liquids, honey. Unless you're making rice. <laughs> I eyeball that but you can't eyeball no liquid and it says to mix it around and to let it simmer for a little while longer and that's exactly what I did what I will tell y'all is when this was done it was dumb good and the rice was hella great like I think it was a long grain jasmine rice that rice was so amazing and this was so yummy family Click the link below and I pay my own coins for this, honey. And you could get this on food stamps if y'all got food stamps. But buy me some if y'all got food stamps. You could click the link below. I just wanted to make it convenient and easy for y'all. So I left it down there. Until next time, family.